Hey everyone, it's Olivia from ConvertKit, and in this week's Tuesday Tip video, we're going over a little-known Gmail trick that helps make it way more convenient to test out your own opt-ins. Just a quick heads up that this tip does require the use of an email address that supports this feature, which includes but isn't limited to those set up on Gmail or G Suite. I'll be using a G Suite email address as an example for this video, but feel free to look up if your email address supports this trick as well. And if not, Gmail addresses are free, so you have the option to set one up even if it's just for testing purposes. If you have any forms or landing pages set up on ConvertKit, chances are at some point or another you've signed up to your own opt-in with your own email address just as a test. And this is a great idea. We actually strongly recommend it because it's the best way to see how things are ultimately going to look from your subscriber's perspective. However, you probably only have so many email addresses that you can test with, or maybe you only have one email address. And if you truly want to see what happens for someone who's opting into your list for the first time, then you do have to use a new email address that isn't already on your list. One way around this is to simply delete yourself as a subscriber in between each test. And this totally works, however, when you're deep in testing, it can get kind of annoying to have to do this each time. Luckily, Gmail and some other email providers have a trick that acts as a workaround for this, which we'll go over now. Gmail allows you to create aliases of your main email address by adding a plus sign and then some text to the end of the part that comes before the at symbol. This allows you to sort of pretend that you're using a new email address while still receiving everything to your main address. For example, since my olivia at convertkitsupport.com email is set up on G Suite, I can change that to olivia plus one at convertkitsupport.com. That will be treated as a brand new email address by ConvertKit, but all emails sent to it will still go to my regular olivia at convertkitsupport.com inbox. There's also no additional configuration I have to do beforehand to tell Gmail this. Gmail will automatically ignore anything after the plus sign here. But ConvertKit doesn't, so you can use these as separate email addresses for testing. You can add any combination of words or numbers after the plus sign, so you could even put the name of the form you're testing or some other descriptive term to help keep track. Just don't add any spaces or anything that would make it invalid as an email address. Now, with that all being said, each alias will still count as an individual subscriber on your list and be treated as such. So we'd still recommend deleting all of these instances of yourself when you're done testing. But hopefully this trick can help speed up the testing process and make it a bit more convenient overall.